First at four, while it's heating up, blood donations are going down. Action News Now reporter Chloe Curtis stopped by the Vitalent Blood Center today to learn more about the challenge of recruiting summer donors. While many of us look forward to summertime, that's not necessarily the case for blood donation sites like Vitalant, who tell me this time of year is one of the most difficult to get people to walk through these doors. Right now, where we are in the summertime, the blood levels have gotten to critical levels, to actually the point of where more blood is going out than it is coming in. Michael Lawrence joined the team at Vitalin in October. He says so far the summer months have been a lot slower, in part due to students being gone who are a significant chunk of the donation pool. We rely on the schools, high schools, and the colleges as well. Vitalin says every day in the U.S., patients in hospitals, surgical centers, and emergency treatment facilities need approximately 30,000 units of red blood cells, 6,000 units of platelets, and 6,000 units of plasma. And that need doesn't take a summer break. You know, I was concerned too before I gave blood. I wasn't sure what it was going to be like. Um, whenever I talk to anybody who's done it for the first time, like 99% of them say it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. Lawrence says you can either make an appointment or come in on a walk-in basis. I decided to donate on the spot, and the entire process took a little less than an hour. And Chico, Chloe Curtis, Action News Now. Vitalin has several blood drives coming up this month, including at Rolling Hills Casino in Corning Friday and the Paradise Veterans Hall on Tuesday of next week. You can head to our website for more events and times. Just search for this story. And coming up at 530, you'll hear from a longtime donor.